Christchurch, the largest city on the South Island, is where my journey begins. It's paradise, sitting on a seismic time bomb. Every year, over 15,000 earthquakes strike this country. Most are barely noticeable. But some move mountains and bury tracks. The train I'm about to ride was shut down for almost two years. It took an army to get it running again. You can really feel the Kiwi spirit of resilience and determination. And those are key traits when you live in one of the most seismically active regions on Earth. Over the next six hours, we'll travel up the coast of New Zealand's South Island. From Christchurch, we'll ride through the lush Canterbury Plains, stopping in the small town of Rangiora. Reaching the coast, the line runs a razor's edge between steep hills and the Pacific Ocean to Kaikoura. Then it's on to Blenheim in the heart of New Zealand's celebrated wine region, ending at the small town of Picton. The early morning sun is casting a golden light, and I want to head to the observation car for a better look. So this is our open air viewing platform. This is incredible. Yeah, I it mean, is. We got the best seat in the house oh, back here. Definitely do. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's very cool. Yeah. People are always commenting on how lucky we are and how amazing our views are. Our office windows, they call it. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. I'm catching this incredible view from the very back of the train. Up at the front, the coastal Pacific is fitted with a New Zealand DXR class locomotive. It weighs 104.5 tons, is 9.2 feet wide, 12.1 feet high, and stretches 59.4 feet long. Today, the 3,150 horsepower locomotive will haul a luggage car, passenger carriage, cafe car, two more passenger cars, and the observation car.